Wanna learn a smoky eye in minutes using only this and this? Stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to take either a daytime look or a nude eye to a smoky eye in literally minutes. Yes, you can do this. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Clean Beauty Babe. I am Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year professional makeup artist, and it is my privilege to teach women over 40 that yes, they can do it. They can do all the things. And I also, you know, test different products and really try to gear women towards not only safer ingredients, but also products that are very pretty on aging textured skin. So here we are. And today I'm so excited to teach a smoky eye. I apologize for being away for two weeks, but I have been working out of town quite a bit. And then I come back into town and work and on my days off, I've just been exhausted and doing laundry and grocery shopping. And, you know, I don't really clean the house too much if I'm honest, but, um, you know, just to getting all the things done and spending time with my family. And so I just haven't had the energy or the time to do a YouTube. Um, I do work professionally out in the field and I'm so privileged to, to work in television, film, um, wedding, print, corporate video, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all the things, right? I really love it, but um, I have to pay the bills. And so first and foremost, I take TV, film, and commercial work, um, and it does keep me pretty busy. Okay, let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to be honest, I, in 25 years, I have never seen this technique, and I'm so embarrassed because it's so easy. It's ridiculously easy. It's easy on my loose 55-year-old uh, eye. I said 45. My sister just turned 45. 54-year-old eye, it, it, it works great on that. It work great on a hooded eye, um, and you won't know till you try. So before asking me all the questions down below, which I, you know, I welcome questions, try it first. Try it and see how you do. But this is a smoky eye that takes only minutes, minutes we're talking. And um, I, I learned this watching a show called Glow Up, okay? I'm not even clever enough to have figured this out myself. There was a retail artist, a retail makeup artist who joined the show Glow Up as a contestant. And one of her final projects was to do a master class and she chose how to do a quick smoky eye. And I was like, you know, I mean like smoky eye, I mean boring, like everyone knows how to do smoky eye. She did it so fast um, and I was so impressed with just the effortlessness and the technique and how she had to learn it because she had customers who said, you know, I need a fast smoky eye and she herself is a mom to a young girl and so she needed a fast smoky eye. I tried it the other day and lo and behold, I was like blown away by this technique and how easy it is and how you can literally use your finger, but if you want, you can use a brush. But what I love about it is you could just keep one or two pencils in your purse and you could go from like an office daytime look or running errands on the weekend to smudging some pencils around the eye and boom, you've got a very fancy smoky eye for any event, okay? So I've purposely done this eye, which is nude. Now, as always, if you've seen my videos, you know that I have, hold on, I didn't have this ready, I'm so sorry. Shoot, I have the e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer on, and I don't see it in yet, here it is. The e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer, it has to say Eye Putty. This is maybe $5. You can see the indent in it. It's like I take my finger and I literally pat it in, but it looks like this. I never make it to the bottom of the, the little pot because it does dry out, but for five bucks, it lasts at least three to four months. So there it is. It's just a smooth canvas. It's not as good as the MAC Painterly. I love the MAC Painterly paint pots, but the MAC um, is not cruelty free and it also has parabens in it. So that's when I switched to the e.l.f. It's only five bucks. And like I said, I'm buying a new one every three to four months, but what's that, 20 a year for four of these? Worth it to me. And this one's called Pink, even though it's a nude. They make a lighter one that's more yellow called a cream, and then they make another color, or maybe white, pure white. Uh, and that's great if you really want to pop a color. 
Okay, so I have um, this eye and this nude eye, and we are going to take a pencil, which I actually got in like an Allure Beauty Box a couple years ago. I don't get them anymore, I stopped subscribing. But it's a, a company from the UK called Rodeal, and I always loved how soft it is, and it's a coal pencil, but it's specifically called the Smoky, the Smoky Eye Pen. Do you see that? It's a pencil, but it's called Smoky Eye Pen by Rodeal. It's like butter. It's so effortless and it, it, it's in brown, okay? And I'll show you why I love it because I'm gonna start um, showing you right now. Now let me get a little bit closer. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer because a lot of you are like, you need to get closer. So I'm trying. Um, I have my magnification mirror here. So I will take the pencil. Now if you don't have Rodeal, now I have seen it on Amazon or you can get it at Blue Mercury or it's at Selfridges in the UK. It's at many different stores. You can Google it. It's at spacenk.com. It's at a lot of beauty companies, like boutique beauty companies, um, but I did see some on Amazon. So I can put the link in my um, description under the title of this video um, and you can always click on that, but I don't think there were many left. Okay. So I'm gonna go under the eye, but you can also use any coal eye pencil, coal, K-O-H-L, coal, and you could go any color, you know? Whatever color rocks your world, you can go with that color. I got too close to the center of the eye. Okay, and it's okay if it's messy. See how? Kind of messy that is it's okay smoky eyes are messy okay uh, and now i'm going to do it on this side and this is the side that has no makeup on it just the elf putty primer i'm just using the side of the pencil you can go thick you can go thin it's up to you but that looks about even to me what do you think it's not wanting to focus on me. Let me see. It's not wanting to focus too well. Okay, now we're gonna take it and we're gonna go on the eyelid. So watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna start kind of eyelining the eyelid kind of thick. Do you see how I'm doing that? And I'm just building up then to the next line and then I'm building up to the next line and I'm taking it kind of all the way up to my crease. Now, if you're saying, well, I don't have a crease, I have a hooded eye, that's okay. Then wherever your lash line is when your eye is open, just take it a little bit higher. Okay, and it's gonna look dark and it's gonna look messy, but I'm asking you just trust the process and stay with me, okay? I literally could do this in my car, just looking in the mirror. Of course, I would have to have magnification mirror, but you get what I'm trying to say, okay? So do you see? See how patchy it is? It's okay. It's okay. Now we're gonna do this side. This side's gonna look a little different because I don't have any eyeshadow on this eye yet. Oops, sorry. I do that a lot to you guys, don't I? I hide. It's so hard to do makeup when you have to have a magnification mirror. I find a lot of the young influencers can look right in the phone or they have a big lit up makeup mirror and they can see their face from further away, but not me, not at this age. I have to see everything close up. Okay, does that look even? No, I went a little bit higher. The pencil almost blends into the skin as you're putting it on. It's really the most unique pencil I've ever used. But again, I have tried this with a regular Kohl pencil and it works even with a regular Kohl pencil, okay? Do you see that on both eyes? Now you're gonna see a little bit more shadow up here, but we can go here in a minute and try it. Okay, now take your finger. I like to use my pinky and I'm just kinda lightly, lightly, lightly rubbing it back and forth. And now I'm gonna take my pinky up here. 
You're obviously gonna wanna keep like a tissue or a paper towel nearby because your, your finger's gonna get messy. But I'm patting it, I'm not rubbing it, I'm patting it. And the skin on skin is just blending it all together. Do you see that? Do you see how smoky that is? That is so pretty. I know you can do that just using my finger. Now I'm gonna go on this side. Just patting, patting, patting. That's all I'm doing is I'm patting. And the cool thing about a smoky eye is it's supposed to be kind of messy and rock and roll. It's not supposed to be like a real, um, you know, clean, pristine, coiffed look. It's just very, it's just kind of fun and messy. Now to even out the eyes, and this eye even looks great, but to even out the eyes, I am gonna take a tiny bit of brown shadow. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown right here. This is the Mob Beauty and I am gonna blend it in the crease, but above, kind of above, kind of above where I put the pencil. Just kind of in a little windshield wiper. And that's all I need, just that little bit. See, now they kind of, I feel like that matches better. But you don't even have to do this part. I just, I have a huge, I have a huge area between my crease and my brow. Do you see how much space I have? So I feel like I have to go in. I really feel like I kind of have to go in with a little bit of a light brown shadow. But if I was in my car and I just had this light makeup on and I all I had was the pencil and no shadow, I could have gone out just like that and been fine, okay? So do you see that? That's it, that's all we have on. Now you could stop there because that's a really pretty soft smoky eye. But a true smoky eye, a true, true smoky eye has the darkest color on the waterline. So I'm going to take e.l.f. No Budge Pencil in Black. It's retractable. It is V-Bus Black. Um, and I'm gonna go up into my waterline up here. I love the upper waterline because it just looks like this piercing liner. It just makes your lashes look so dark. And it's great for hooded eyes because you're, you're lining your eyes without taking a lot of um, eyelid space. Isn't that cool? And now I'm gonna go into, oops. I gotta be careful because my finger's dirty from the blending. I go right on that rim. I go right on the rim. Do you see that? It goes on effortlessly. I love this pencil. This pencil's like three or four dollars. Again, it's the e.l.f. No budge, black retractable. Look at that. Come on now. That is so fun. That is so fun. I am feeling my any inner 80s girl. Okay, so that's the trick to a smoky eye is you want the darkest part of the eye to be the rim of the eyes and then it gets a little bit more blown out. It gets a little bit lighter as it gets away from the eye and you get that kind of smoky blended look. And that's it, that's all we used. We used two pencils and we used our finger. If you're the type of person that would rather use a brush, use something kind of short and flat to blend it, but that's it. And you don't even have to use the one on the waterline if you don't want. I just think that's a true smoky eye to go in on the waterline. And I like to mix browns and blacks. If I did all black on my eyes, it'd probably be a little bit too much uh, just for my age, unless I was really going to like this huge black tie affair and I really wanted a black smoky eye and then I might put like a frost on the lid to really make it kind of glisten and pop. So. There you go, what do you guys think? Isn't it fun? Isn't it easy? I know you can do this. And even for you girls that have hooded eyes, you can still blend it up here. And then if you want, you could still take a fluffy brush 
and a lighter shadow and blend it higher so that it all blends if you want, or you can just blend with your finger. Again, look close up. It's a little smudgy in areas. I don't care. It's, I would go anywhere like this and feel super cute. Let me see. Oh yeah, I would go, I've been looking in my magnification mirror. I would go anywhere with this eye makeup and, and totally not be embarrassed that it, it, it's a little like messy. I don't care. That's the point of a smoky eye. It's so fun and it's so piercing and it makes your eyes look so sparkly. Okay. So let me know if you try it. I can't wait to hear. I just, I had to give props to Dolly, the artist who was on glow up cause this is not my idea. But now that I know it, I'll probably never do a smoky eye any other way, even on people in my makeup chair. It is just too fast and easy. And literally, I did a TikTok today in a minute. So you can do this whole look in a minute. I just took longer because I'm explaining to you and I'm showing you close up and I'm showing you all the steps. But you literally can do this look in a minute or two. It's And in the car. I mean, what? And then... Pair it with kind of a nude lip because, you know, when you've got a heavy eye, you want kind of a softer nude lip and, you know, just do a real pretty glowy blush. And I mean, look, you've got like a rock star look that works for any age. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe. It really helps grow my channel, um, grow my income because I'm not, I'm not here for nothing. I mean, this takes a lot of time and I love doing it and I love teaching, but, um, I do love that YouTube, um, can pay me through ads. And so that way I don't have to send you guys buying all the things. You can just watch me for free, but sitting through the ads really helps my income. Um, and it, and it really, keeps me here. It keeps me coming back and it keeps this audience growing. And I'm just so thankful to all of you. So thanks a lot.